Some great news out of Green Bay regarding quarterback Jordan Love, who suffered an MCL sprain in that week one loss to the Philadelphia Eagles. We just got the news that we've all been looking for this week, and it's that Jordan Love has officially returned to practice. This update was just released as the Packers are practicing as we speak right now. And it basically states that Jordan Love has returned to practice, went through stretch in all early drills with a sleeve on his left leg, the first time he's practiced since the week one left knee injury. Obviously, we've all been sitting here wondering, when will Jordan Love be able to return? It's been a wide margin of uh, injury window, per se. Some people said four to six weeks. I myself thought two to six. I think it was a wider margin due to how different an MCL sprain can be depending on the severity. And there were reports before that it's more so closer to a grade one MCL sprain than it is a grade two. And a grade two sprain, yeah, you're likely looking anywhere between three to six weeks. And if you're more so towards a grade one, I've seen players such as Aaron Jones return after just one week missed, which if Jordan Love does in fact return this week against the Tennessee Titans, that is just one week miss, which is definitely in the realm of possibility considering Jordan Love has returned to practice the first day of practice here in week three. The Packers practice today, tomorrow, and Friday, then of course head to Tennessee to take on the Titans, and this is great news. I mean, obviously, Jordan Love coming back to practice is always going to be great news, uh, whether it was today, tomorrow, Friday, but the fact that it is Wednesday, their first day of practice, Practice and Jordan Love is out there, and we have some clips to look at, um, some actual live video clips of him in practice, moving around, throwing the football, so you can kind of get a look of how he looks. And we saw last week against the Colts when the Packers uh, were, were taking the field, Jordan Love didn't seem to have any limp on that leg that he injured, on that left leg. So it already seemed like he was ahead of schedule. And we had Adam Schefter, I think, this week saying, oh, it's, it's going to be four to six weeks. I never really thought it would be on the later end of, say, six weeks. I, again, I, I more so thought earlier than, than later. A quarterback can also return from an MCL sprain quicker and kind of play through it than, say, a wide receiver, defensive back, or running back. So, of course, this is great news. If the Packers can get Jordan Love back, uh, this week against the Titans, which is a lot better of a defense than the Colts, a lot better of a run defense, a pass defense. So the Packers are going to need to be on their best game to then go two and one uh, and win their second straight game. And, and Malik Willis definitely got it done last week. And Matt LaFleur had an awesome offensive scheme, but it was because they ran the ball so well. I mean, plain and simple, the Packers were able to run the ball and make it short yardage situations on second down and third down. The Titans' run defense is much better. So if Jordan Love is back, obviously, I mean, stating the obvious here, the Packers have a much better chance to win this game. So here's the first warm-up clip. You see Jordan Love here just going through warm-ups. You see that left knee leg sleeve. And again, it, it's all half speed here. He's not really dropping back, just warming up his arm. But you see him moving around. And it doesn't look like he's favoring that left leg at all. I I'm sure he's not 100% um, just after, you know, a little over a week. I, I doubt that. But the fact that he's not favoring at all, you know, he's using that left knee first forward. It's not like he's having issues with it, that it seems. And again, this is half speed. So when it's full speed, it may look a little bit different. But he looks good. And honestly... I think there's a good chance he could play this Sunday. Here's a clip of him being a little bit more mobile, doing a misdirection handoff, and then that rollout drill, and even kind of throwing off platform and landing on that left knee. And again, just like the last clip, if you didn't wear the left sleeve or the left leg sleeve and, and you didn't know he had an MCL injury, you wouldn't think anything of this clip. You'd be like, oh, it's just Jordan Love warming up in practice. You wouldn't be like, oh, he has an apparent left knee injury. And then this final clip in the Don Hudson Center, just doing a little bit of a warm up here. Um, yeah, this is huge news, guys, obviously. And him returning to practice on a Wednesday rather than, say, a Thursday or Friday gives me high hopes that he will be able to go against the Tennessee Titans. As much as it would be cool to see Malik Willis, you know, go against his former team and, and, and hopefully get a win, which still could be the case. This is no guarantee that Jordan Love is back. Um, he's still likely 100% going to be questionable for this game to kind of leave it up in the air for the Tennessee Titans to game plan, which I think gives the Packers a, a definite edge there because it's two completely different game plans for the Titans against Malik Willis and against Jordan Love. Uh, but this is huge news, guys. And, and coming back Wednesday is great. And uh, we'll see what his designation is today. I'm sure it'll just be limited 
Um, I'll release an injury report later with all the injury designations and all the other players that did or didn't practice. So be on the lookout for that. Just wanted to make a separate video because this is just massive news. But I appreciate you guys coming by to the channel. Uh, go down, click subscribe if you are a new viewer and want to stay in the loop with everything Green Bay Packers. But I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. And as always, go Pack Cup.